Ever wonder how you can scroll Instagram at 30,000 feet? Airplane Wi-Fi feels like magic. But here's the science behind it, with some real-world examples to blow your mind. How it actually works. Unlike your home Wi-Fi that uses cables, plain internet has two ways to connect. Satellite connection, most common. The plane talks to satellites 22,000 miles above Earth. The satellite relays signals to ground stations. Ground stations plug into the regular internet. Ground-based towers for short flights. Antennas on the plane connect to cell towers on the ground. Works like your phone's data, but way more powerful. Real example one over the ocean, satellite magic. On a flight from New York to London, your plane might use Inelsat satellites. These giant space antennas keep you connected even mid-Atlantic, where there's no cell towers for thousands of miles. Real example two domestic U.S. flights, tower hopping. Flying coast-to-coast -coast in the U.S., companies like GoGo Air use 200-plus ground towers. As you fly, your plane seamlessly switches towers like your phone does, just at 500 miles per hour. Why it's slow and expensive? That Netflix buffer isn't your imagination. Satellite signals travel 44,000 miles round-trip. That's 0.25 second lag. 100-plus passengers share one connection. Airlines pay $100,000 plus per plane for equipment. Pro tips for better flight Wi-Fi. Morning flights often have faster speeds, fewer users. Close video apps. They hog bandwidth. For important work, buy the premium package. Next time you're browsing at cruising altitude, remember there's some incredible engineering keeping you connected. If you found this fascinating, hit that like button and subscribe for more Tech Mysteries Explained.